high calls series. Morning children. So we have completed the previous lesson in the previous class with the skills and activity part. And now we will uh, learn a new lesson. And this is more about, uh, mm, we know one thing, no? holiday. Huh? So if we know the attender on the ayah or the pew of the school come to our class with a notice. And uh, if they read this notice of the tomorrow is a holiday, that is the most, uh, what we call it, uh, pleasing news that we ever have. No? Whenever the ayah or uh, the peon or attender comes to the class, uh, we also will be eager. Is it a holiday tomorrow? So we'll be very eager to know, is it a holiday tomorrow? So why do we love holidays this much? Yeah, holidays, first of all, no studies. Isn't it? No studies. Bye bye books. Huh? Second, a uh, lot of fun is there. Na? Lot of fun. Lot of fun. Huh? Third thing, we spend time with our family. We will have more time with our family. Huh? And uh, sometimes uh, we may go for picnics or uh, you know visiting different places. So when we go for this picnics and tours, we call it a tour. Tour is a tour. So visiting other places is called a touring. Right? So when we go for a picnic, we will have a lot of fun. When we go, go for a tour also, we will have a lot of fun over there. Plenty of fun will be there. And along with that, we will learn some new things also. For example, from Andhra Pradesh, if we go to a lot of places, now we have Redford in Delhi, uh, Taj Mahal in Agra, or uh, Victoria Terminus in Kolkata. We have Hava Mahal in Jaipur. Plenty of places are there. So when we go to, for example, if we go to Agra, we know Taj Mahal is in Agra. Okay. When we go there, we eat the food that is available there. Not what we eat at our home. Isn't it? So we try different food. We deal with the different culture. The way we deal with our people here is different from how they do it there. Okay. So that is different. The way they talk is different. The eat is different. The clothing is different. Everything is different, isn't it? We, it's completely different. So we know about the Taj Mahal. Uh, how did they build it? What was the reason building it? We know about the culture over there, food habits over there, isn't it? Yeah. So along with the fun and uh, the kind of activity that we do, we learn more about that place also. Okay. So in this lesson, in this lesson, uh, which says a trip to Goa, now we will come across a family who have gone to Goa and uh, we too will go along with them okay we too will go along with this family we too will go to goa and uh, we also will try to learn something more about to goa okay so what are we going to do there is a family who has gone to goa now we will go along with them all right so there are four members in this family there are four members in this uh, family Mohan is the father. Okay, Mohan is the father. Anjali is the mother. Okay, so they had been planning to go to Goa for two years now. They had been planning, okay, next vacation we will go, okay, next vacation we will go. And they wanted to go with their children. They have two children. The boy is called Murali. Murali is a boy and Pallavi is a girl. 
Pallavi is the girl. So this is the family. The father named Mohan, the mother named Anjali had been planning to go to Goa for the past two years. They couldn't go there because of some reason. We don't know. But now they have made it. So now Mohan and Anjali along with Murali and Pallavi are in Goa. Okay, they have uh, reached Goa and there is a very famous beach there known as uh, Baga Beach. Goa is famous for beaches. What do you mean by beaches? What do you mean by a beach? Yeah, beach is a seashore area where there are uh, plenty of uh, uh, recreational activities to be done. Okay, so they are in a Goa now. Now, uh, Pallavi and Murali are playing on the sand over there. Playing on the sand over there. And uh, Murali and Anjali are uh, taking some rest over there. Okay. So, what was Murali doing? Murali was actually making sand castles. Castle. What do you mean by castle? C A S T L E. Castles are actually the palace kinds of things built by the kings and the rulers in the olden days. They will have strong walls around it and there will be towers also. Okay, the soldiers will be taking guard from the tower. Tall, very tall tower. When they look there, they can see all the areas around it. Okay, if there is an attack or something like that coming from the outside, this fort, this castle will uh, stop it. That is the old one. But here, when we go to beaches, we will, uh, you know, keep the sands together, making different uh, structures over there, like palace and all. Okay, so now Murali is making a castle like a structure with the sand. Right, and uh, his parents... Mohan and Anjali was looking at that from a distance. Pallavi was just walking on the seashore over there and she got some seashells. You know seashells? Yeah. So these shells she gathered there and she came to Murali and she started decorating the castle with these uh, seashells. Okay. There was a big seashell. She placed it on top of it. And there are some smaller ones. She yeah, kept it on the, uh, the castle made by Murali. Okay. It was evening. It was evening. And they could see the sun setting in the sea. So which sea is there near Goa? Which sea is near there Goa? Arabian Sea. Okay. Arabian Sea is uh, near the uh, go the state of Goa. So the beaches there are on the Arabian Sea. Right? So as the sun sets, you know, the entire sky will be red in color. Right? The entire sky was getting red and uh, as they were enjoying the evening over there, they thought of eating something. So they brought some egg rolls, you know, egg rolls. Then uh, they got uh, Mm, fried fish, fish fry. Goa is a beach area, no? Yeah, they do. They they do get a lot of fish. So they got some egg rolls, some fish fries, and uh, sanna. Sanna is a dry rice cake. Okay, a dry rice cake. It's a local dish of Goa. Sanna is a local dish of Goa and uh, there are some shacks over there. Shacks means uh, uh, it's a small shop kind of a structure. Okay, there won't be any shop but using the you know, poles or uh, wooden planks they will make a shop, a makeshift shop. Okay, they will bring the things in the morning, keep it there, sell everything. By evening they will take it home. Only the structure will be remaining there. Okay, uh, yeah, these shacks are there on the beach to sell these kinds of food items, local food items to the people who come over there. 
So, Murali and uh, Pallavi along with their parents Mohan and Anjali enjoyed these uh, local dishes, egg rolls, fish fries and uh, sanna. Very tasty. As they were eating this food and standing there uh, on the Baga beach, Pallavi saw something. Pallavi saw something. What was that? Two boats were coming to the shore. Some people are there still in the sea, taking a swim and all. And there were two boats coming to the shore. So Pallavi saw it and she immediately called Murali. Immediately called Murali and asked, See, can you see those two boats coming to the shore? And as you know, come to the shore, there will be waves. So there are waves and these boats are moving on top of these waves. It's a beautiful scene. It's a red sky. The water is also reflecting this redness. There are some waves and these boats are jumping on these waves. Okay. Then Mohan said they are fishermen. They are fishermen who go out to set the net to catch fish. Okay. They will go first, set the net over there and they will come back. Later, they will go and pull the net. And that is how they catch different kinds of fish like crabs are there. You know a crab? This is a crab. Okay. So crabs are there. Then prawns, prawns, prawns are there, lobsters, bigger ones, lobsters are there. So these are different kinds of fish that we get in the sea. Okay. So these fishermen, they go to the sea, uh, set the net there and they come back to catch these kinds of uh, fish like crabs are there, lobsters are there, prawns are there and some other common kinds of fish also there. Okay, so later they will go over there, they will pull the line out, means the fishing net out and they will get all these kinds of fish in the net, they will take them to the market and they sell them. Okay, so that is a common practice for the fishermen over there, they are not afraid of these waves and all, so don't worry. So Pallavi was excited, Pallavi was wow. Okay, and they asked, she asked her, what are the other places that we are going to visit in Goa tomorrow? So it's evening now. Now it's okay that we have to go to the room and uh, take a sleep there. And what are the places that we are going to visit tomorrow? Then uh, her father said, okay, uh, there are two, three other beaches also. Okay, so there is a Anjuna beach, there is another beach, this is Baga beach. Okay, now in this evening they are at Baga beach. So tomorrow we will go to Anjuna beach and there is another beach called Candolim beach, Candolim beach and Kalangute beach. So there are three more beaches where we would go tomorrow. First is a Anjuna beach, second is a Candolim beach and the third one is a Kalangute beach. Okay, along with that, we will visit some churches also. Goa is very famous for churches. Goa is very famous for churches. Plenty of old churches are there. And in that, we will go to Basilica of Bom Jesus in old Goa. There is a very famous church, Basilica of Bom Jesus. That is located in Old Goa and the Church of St. Francis of Assisi. St. Francis of Assisi. So these are two famous churches. Don't worry, we will talk about these churches. Okay, we will tell about these churches. Don't worry. Fine. So Mohan said, we are going to visit Anjuna Beach, Candolim Beach, Kalangute Beach along with the, these two places which are the the Basilica of Bom Jesus in Old Goa and the Church of St. Francis of Assisi. 
right so these are the two places where we will go tomorrow right so now it's a time for us to go back to the hotel and then take some rest right now the family went to the hotel they had their dinner and they took a traditional govan dish that is the best thing you know when we go to a new place we try not to get our food there we should eat their food there okay that is the best thing and the same thing mohan and his family also did the same thing what did they do they ate the local food there what is the local food fish curry then uh, rice then uh, arroz dosa arroz dosa is a pudding type of a thing with uh, rice with water milk combination something like a uh, pie some that we have no almost the same thing a sweet dish so they took a traditional govan dinner and uh, went to the room but uh, they were very eager to know more about goa they wanted to know more about uh, goa so murali asked dad can you tell us more about goa the beaches are beautiful we played a lot we enjoyed a lot but uh, can you tell us more about goa okay so mohan started telling something about uh, goa so goa is the smallest state in terms of area okay goa is the smallest uh, state in india in terms of area and the fourth smallest state in population so there are very few people living there right very few people living there so we need to learn that uh, goa is the smallest state in india based on area and the fourth smallest state based on a on a population this is uh, located on if it is a southern part of india this is located on the west coast of india it's here right so we have kerala here we have karnataka here maharashtra here okay it comes like this so goa is actually in between uh, maharashtra and karnataka this is a small state and it is on which sea arabian sea okay so this smallest state of india goa is located on the western side of india on the arabian sea okay this uh, smallest state is world famous for its uh, beaches there are plenty of beaches there and uh, they are very beautiful okay goa is basically famous for this uh, beaches and to enjoy this scenic beauty the natural beauty and uh, no refresh themselves a lot of people come to goa every year from everywhere on the earth not only from india from other countries also right so a lot of people visit this small country on the western coast of india sorry a small state it's not a country a small state on the western coast of india on the arabian sea because of its natural beauty the capital of uh, goa is panaji okay capital of goa is a panaji and another major city is margoa right when we check the history of india we can see you know india was ruled by the british for a long time and we got freedom from them in the year 1947 
the freedom struggle and all yes so when the british were ruling india actually goa was under the control of uh, portugal okay goa was under the control of uh, portugal another country in europe so we can see a lot of portuguese constructions there old buildings there churches there right so when portugal was uh, ruling the portugal people were uh, controlling goa then there was there is a place called old goa okay there is a place called uh, old goa that was their capital right so all the churches and the such kind of buildings that we see there are actually built by the people of uh, portugal portuguese the portuguese people built them right so isn't it interesting a smallest state with the fourth smallest number of people living over there uh, is a small state on the western part of India on the Arabian Sea famous for beaches attracts thousands and thousands of people every year. Hmm? Murli was something like wow. Pallavi was more interested. Pallavi was more interested. She was asking is there anything else? Is there anything else that we could know about Goa? Then he said, uh, the place is rich in flora and fauna. Flora and fauna means plants and animals. See, actually, this place Goa comes in uh, the Western Cuts. What is Western Cuts? Western Cuts is a series of mountain ranges on the Western coastal area okay so there are beautiful hills also in goa it's not just beaches so one side if you draw like this if imagine this is goa this part is beaches and the other part here it's all hills okay so goa actually comes in the western cuts and it has a very rich means very immense very huge animal and plant life also there okay so goa actually lies in the western cuts region and it has a very rich plant and animal life also there and the most important thing that we need to know is the literacy rate what do you mean by literacy rate uh, the ability of the people to read and write okay the ability of the people to read and write so the literacy rate of goa is a 87 percentage the literacy rate of goa is a 87 percentage when it be divided out of the total about the males are about 90 percentage illiterate means the people from five years and above okay boys and gents the people the males from five years and above are able to read and write and when it comes to women or we call them females okay they are 84 percentage are literate so males or men above the five years old are able to read 90 percentage of the total people there men there and 84 percentage of women there know how to read and write and what is the local language of goa here in andhra we have telugu Telangana we have Telugu, Tamil Nadu we have Tamil, Kerala we have Malayalam, then Karnataka we have Kannada. What about Goa? What is the language? Konkani. What is the language? Konkani is the official language here.
So what is the official language of Goa? The official language of Goa is a Konkani. Okay, but they do use some other languages also like uh, they use Hindi. Okay, the people of Goa are able to use Hindi. Then uh, they use Marathi. Because, yeah, this is Maharashtra. A major part of Goa is actually on the, on the uh, boundaries of uh, Maharashtra. So, Marathi is a language of Maharashtra. So, they know Marathi and they use Portuguese also. <laughs> I told you, na, the people, the Portuguese people ruled Goa for a long time. So, they know the Portuguese language also there. Okay, so these are some facts that Murali told about Goa to, sorry, Mohan told about Goa to Murali and Pallavi. So what were they? It's the smallest state in area. It's the smallest, the fourth smallest state in terms of population. Its capital is Panaji. It's uh, another important city over there is Margova. Konkani is the official language of the people of Mara uh, Goa, but they also speak Hindi, Marathi and Portuguese. It actually lies on the western side of India. Okay, on the Arabian Sea. Hmm? It comes actually under the western cuts. So it has a very rich plant and animal life. About 87% of the people over there are literate and 90% of the men and 84% of the women are literates. Right? Now, uh, just for fun, Mohan asked Murali, now you do one thing, go and learn Konkani. Mohan was struck learning, studying on a holiday. But he asked, how is it possible to learn Kongani in two days? Is it possible for somebody to learn a language in two days? No way. Mohan said, I was just kidding man, I was just making fun of you. Now do one thing, go to bed, sleep well, because tomorrow we have got a lot of places to see. We have to go to a lot of places. So, we do not have much time to waste. If you go to bed and take a good sleep, then we will have real fun. Okay, so they were good children. Murli and Pallavi were very good children. They obeyed their parents. They went to the bed and take a good sleep. Right? So, Murali and Pallavi along with their parents Mohan and Anjali reached Goa, spent a wonderful day on Baga beach, ate some local food over there, played in the beach, learned some more thing about Goa and now they are in the hotel room taking very good rest. Right? So, let them take the rest. We will also leave the class for the day. In the next class, we will go along with this family, Murli and Pallavi, along with her, their parents, Mohan and Anjali, in uh, you know knowing more uh, to know more places in uh, Goa and uh, be a part of their enjoyment. Right. So till we meet in the next class with the second part of this lesson, take care, be safe. Right. Thank you.